The new planner available in Microsoft Teams harmonizes task management across all apps, bringing you a simple and easy to use task management solution available at your fingertips. Hi, my name's Amy. Welcome to my channel. Let's nerd out. It has a clean and simple navigation menu combining planner and to do into one centralized area with three main sections. Starting with my day, this is identical to my day in Microsoft to do. By default, we will see all of your tasks that are assigned to you and do today. And the source here provides an indication of where these tasks originated from. So if we hover over this first one, Amy's personal plan, it just says the name of the plan. And that is a new personal plan feature that we will cover later in this video. Next, this is a Teams icon and it is the dog boarding team from the reservations channel. And then here, this one is so awesome. It is a task from a task list within a loop page. I'm really excited to show you that one because somebody has asked some questions about how to manage the tasks that are assigned to them within loop. Let's take a look at this first task here. We can see that it's got a little pink icon as well as a notepad and a sunshine. So the sunshine actually relates to it being identified as my day, which are all of the tasks that are going to show up here. But if we click into this task, then we can see that it has a custom pink tag to it. So these will be any color tags that are defined within any of your plans will show up there, as well as this note here. So that little notepad relates to the note and just indicates that, hey, if you open up this task, you're going to find some notes. So let's just create this progress bar and say that, hey, this is urgent. We want to complete it today. If we close out of this, then we can see that this little circle has been added, which is the progress bar, as well as this bell for the priority. So we can see how these create a really nice visual effect when you just have that day view of all of your tasks. On the right hand side, we have these ellipses and we can update all of those items here as well as from the top menu, they are identical. I need to draw your attention to the remove from my day button. Now this is super helpful if you have a decision paralysis. So if that happens and you need to clear out some of those lower priority items, we can simply just click remove from my day and now it is clear and you can focus on the tasks that matter most. I will show you how we can locate those tasks in just a moment. The last thing that I wanted to show you in this section was the ability to add a private task. We can see here that that private task has been added and the source is private task. So these tasks are designed for you to quickly jot down to do items at the speed of thought. To do has a little completed section down here but we can easily replicate this by filtering for completed tasks from the top drop down menu. I'm moving along to my tasks. This is a centralized area for you to view all of the tasks that are relevant to you. And there are four predefined filters at the top. Some of them may look familiar from planner and to do. Starting with private tasks and we can see that private task that we added under my day and that little sun icon is there as well. We are also able to add new tasks here. And if you wanted to assign that to today, then we can just select it, click add to my day. There we go. It will show up under my day. Moving along to assign to me, this is a centralized area for you to view all of the tasks that are assigned to you across all of your plans for all of the dates. Now, depending on the number of tasks that you have, you can easily sort by title, priority, or due date. And there are also some further filter options for dates and priorities on the top. Moving along to flagged emails, here we are in Outlook and we can just click this flag, this message. And if you are enjoying this video, then please give this video a thumbs up. It really helps my channel out. And here we have that flagged email. The source is showing us Outlook and we've even got an attachment there. Let's click and open up this task and we can just head on back to that email by selecting the attachment here. The last section in my task is all, and you guessed it, it is all of the tasks in one place. Even that flagged email is showing up here. If we complete this email, we will see it update in that little tag area within Outlook as well. Moving along to my plans, this is a centralized area for you to access 
all of the plans that are relevant to you. This includes lists from to do plans within planner, as well as the new personal plans feature that we're going to cover in just a moment. And soon to come will be premium plans, which is going to be a new subscription. Starting off with shared plans. These are plans that are shared with you and are associated with a 365 group, including a Microsoft team. Select new plan and head on down to see all templates. On the left hand side here, we have all of these different templates that include a preview of the plan. And these all indicate basic here, but in the future, you might see some that will say premium, and those are going to be part of a different licensing. Let's go ahead and select project management and click use template. At Amy's Animal Shop, we are starting a new pet food line. So this plan is going to be for managing that project. I'm going to be using this plan quite frequently, so I'm going to pin it to the navigation menu. And from the bottom here, we are going to select a group. So you'll see here that a lot of these are your teams within Microsoft Teams. And there is also an indication of public. Some of yours might say private. So these just give an indication of the privacy settings for that group. Let's go ahead and assign this to the operations. And here we have our plan that has just been created. And look at this amazing template. It provides such a good foundation for starting this project. We can also see that this plan has been pinned to the left navigation menu. And if we head on up to my plans, then we can see that new pet food line plan is showing up under the shared area. Moving along to the personal tab, this includes your personal plans, that new feature that has just been released with the new planner, as well as lists from Microsoft to do. Now to create a personal plan, we are also going to head up to that new plan button and you have all of those templates available. But if you want to start with a plan from scratch, then we can just select basic. Here, this is a little bit cheeky, but if you haven't already and you are finding my video valuable, then please give it a thumbs up as it really helps it get some traction. Down below here, where we assigned it to the group in the previous step, we're going to leave this blank and that means that this plan is now going to be unassigned to a Microsoft group. Let's go ahead and click create. Here is our new plan and is, this is just so amazing because it never used to be possible. You used to always have to have one of these plans assigned to a group, but now you can have a private plan so you can create your own plan. Enjoy all of the benefits of a regular plan, but having it be just for you. And later down the line, if you decide that you want to add this plan to a group, then we can create a new group or even add it to an existing group. And we can just once again, select from the drop down menu. And here I'm going to add the human resources team. Moving along, we have our pinned plans and these are the same as the plans that are on the left navigation menu. You can pin them or unpin them just like that. Moving on to my teams. Here we have all of our teams that have plans associated with them. And if we expand them, then we can see the plans broken down by channels within those teams. Now I wanted to do an overlay here because the shared plans and my teams look very similar. However, you're going to notice that that new pet food line, as well as this other plan that we just created are not showing up under the my teams. And if we look on the right hand side here under the shared with, we can see the team that they are assigned to, but not the channel. Whereas my teams has these plans that are broken down by channel. What we need to do is add these plans into a channel for them to show up under the my team section. So here we are within that operations team. And if we head on up to the add a tab area, then we can see planner right here. If you don't see it, then you can just search it right here. So now we just need to add our plan. You could create a new plan or we can use an existing plan from this team. So we've already assign that plan to the team. We just need to add it to a channel. And there is that new plan that we just created. So let's go ahead and click save. We can see that new plan has populated here, which is amazing. And if we go back into my plans and my teams, 
then that operations team is now showing and we can see that new pet food line at the bottom. So now there are some sneaky settings that I wanted to highlight. So from a plan, if we select the plan name at the top here, then we can rename our plan from this area here. And at the bottom is the ability to delete a plan from the group area. This is where you can actually change the settings of the 365 group and then notifications. So I know that the notifications is quite a popular topic. Just note that this first one here, only owners can change that setting. But here you can define if you want to receive emails and mobile push notifications when someone assigns a task to you or if a task is late due today or due in the next seven days. And if we navigate to the old planner, then there are some settings here that we would like to probably see in the new planner. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this plan and you'll notice that we have this beautiful background setting. I'll show you how I got that in just a second. But from the ellipses on the top here, there are a couple of things that are pretty cool. So the first one is the exporting the plan to Excel, which creates a really nice, neat little table. If you want to share the progress of this plan with somebody that's not directly involved with the nitty gritty details. Also the ability to add a plan to an Outlook calendar, which is really cool to just kind of integrate a plan directly into your calendar that you might look at a little bit more frequently. Now, if we head on into plan settings, then similar to the new version, we've got that general group and notifications tabs at the top, but under the general, we have these beautiful backgrounds, which are not yet available, but hopefully soon within the new planner. Thank you for watching this video to the end. I do hope that I've helped you discover your inner nerd today. We will catch you in the next video.